And foremost, oh my gosh, I finally, finally made my microblading appointment. Uh, if you don't know what microblading is, it's for my eyebrows. I'm so excited. When um, I like said um, this second that like I found out microblading was as popular a thing as it's sort of become in the past. I'm having pasta at 1140. Is that weird? Um, I mean, for those of you who watched my channel, you'll know that my eyebrow saga has been going on for like the past nine, eight, nine years. And I wanted to get my um, eyebrows microbladed for the longest time, but like always kind of put it off um, and tried a lot of different like regrowth serums and just sort of other like supplements and had my blood tested and blah, blah, blah. Uh, and then when I like, when we moved back to New York, and I really decided like I'm getting the microbladed. Then I got pregnant and you're not allowed to get microblading done if you're pregnant or nursing. And so I said the second that I am done nursing, I'm getting the microbladed. But I also have this like really, sorry. I also have this tendency to put off things that seem not indulgent, but like I just get nervous. I get nervous and so I put things off. And this was one of those things that was like quickly becoming something I kept putting off. But as you see, I have no eyebrows. I have zero eyebrows and putting them on every single day, you know, besides the fact that it's tedious and takes a little, like a little bit more time than I want and it's annoying, fine. But what's become really difficult is that now that I have absolutely no eyebrows, I have to draw my eyebrows on from scratch. From scratch. I'm not an artist. I'm just a girl who has no eyebrows and is like doing her best. And so I have good days, but then I also have days where I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh my gosh, I've been walking around all day with like these blocks on my face. And also like no matter how much like powder I pack on top of the um, wax brow product or how much like freaking face spray I use to keep my makeup on all it takes is like one wrong rub from either my hand or Hugo's hand and like part of my eyebrow is off my face you know what I mean and if I'm in public that's kind of an issue and so it's always in the back of my head I'm like oh don't touch my face so I just cannot wait I'm so glad it, Jeff and I were talking about it last night and I was like you know what I feel like I need to get them done I just feel like it needs to happen and I needed that like little bit of a push and Jeff was like, all right, well then let's do it. And in my head, I was thinking like, oh, I'll wait till January to get them done. And he was like, why? Why are you gonna wait till January? And I was like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> so we are going on the 16th. I'm gonna leave Hugo here with my mom. Jeff is coming with me and I'm going to, I should be able to like film it um, and get it on get it on video can you tell i was born in the 80s um no like i should be able to film it for you guys so you can see but yeah i am so excited so excited definitely nervous but excited um and let me bring you guys into the this morning oh my gosh it has been a disaster hugo has been in such a mood all day I mean, this morning was fine. He like woke up at 5.30 and was kind of like raring to go, which is normal for him. And he was fine. And then we went, like it was time for a nap around 7.45 and he fell asleep around 8. And then he woke up at 8.45 and that's where like, I should have tried to get him to go back to sleep. But it's such a hard like fine line because if I try to get him to go back to sleep and he doesn't want to, then I feel like I'm in a way, oh, sorry. I won't talk for that much longer because I know this angle sucks. Um, but then I feel like I'm torturing him. So I like got up with him at 8.45, but he was just in like the worst mood and crying and annoyed. And then I tried to get him to go take, like, I was like, all right, let's go back to sleep. Um, oh. um, I was like, all right, let's go back to sleep. That was, we'll go up at 8.45, I think, or like maybe even 10 after nine. I was like, we need to like try to get you to go back 
to take a nap because he was restless, annoyed, frustrated, just like so whiny. And that normally is an indication that he hasn't slept enough. So I put him back in the bed and he's just like screaming, crying. He falls asleep for maybe 60 seconds until it's like close to like 940. Uh, and I was like, I can't, let's get up. If you're not gonna sleep, you're not gonna sleep. And now we're like running into breakfast time and like bottle time is 1030. So I gave him his uh, breakfast, gave him his bottle. He was all over the place. Like normally he can sort of play on his own and keep himself busy. But no, he was just so annoyed. So I just, it's 11.45 now. He just fell asleep. And I just feel like so drained. I'm happy that it's 11.45 because part of me was like petrified to look at the clock. I was like, oh my God, please don't let it be nine. But it, made, like, it makes sense. I've been, we've been like, it's so draining when your baby is like frustrated or annoyed, crying. And it's been about five hours of that. So... I am gonna decompress now. I'm gonna have my lunch. I need to do some editing and some other stuff. I really need to finish those Christmas cards. Um, and I'm gonna try to like press a little bit of like the reset button on today because I feel like I was really reaching my patience limit before. And I hate that feeling. I hate when I feel like I'm gonna snap. So I'm gonna take this time for myself, relax chill and um and before he wakes up this is me trying to do the christmas cards oh now you have nothing to say now you have nothing to say oh my gosh i'm trying to finish up these christmas cards and hugo took a pretty decent nap he took like an hour long nap but since I brought him downstairs, he hates being in what we affectionately have started calling the circle of neglect. But mommy, like here's the thing, honey. Mommy is home with you every single day. And we play together like all day. We do, like all day we play. We play, play, play. Yesterday we played all day. Today, mommy just has to do like a little bit of work. This isn't even real work. This is me just writing Christmas cards. So, you have so many toys in there. You can play with all your toys. Mommy's playing Christmas music. I love you. <laughs> Let's see. Whoa. Don't mind Hugo's little toy in the background. I just got a really fun shipment from Amazon. I thought I would share it with you. I think... I don't know what this is, so... Actually, I think those are his teeters. But... <laughs> I ordered Brittany Louise Taylor's new book. She's a YouTuber. She's been a YouTuber for years and years. She's one of the like OGs. And I thought like her story sounded really, I don't know, crazy <laughs> from like what little she hinted about it. Um, if you don't know her, you don't know what she went through. Um, she met a guy uh, via, I don't know if it was Tinder or Bumble or like an online dating app and she thought that he was Prince Charming and that they would be together forever. And they had a baby together and were planning on getting married. And then I don't know if he was like abusing her. Like she said that he turned out to be someone like completely different. Um, sort of like how you would see in the movies, you know. Um, so I'm really, really excited to give this a read. And I thought like supporting her um, and her journey would be really great. So I'm excited to read that. And then... Oh, these are the, oh, those are the packets of food. Let me open these up. So I got another order of these. Hugo loves, loves, loves these. They dissolve so easily. He loves easily. Um, but they really, really do. And so I never have to worry about him choking. Um, he seems to really, really like those. And then I ordered a 10 variety pack. I'll link this down below. It's just 10 packets of the Happy Baby Clearly Crafted Food. And Hugo really likes those too. So I'm going to unload these. I think I'll give Hugo a little cracker because he's getting a little bit restless. And yeah, oh, it's almost, I think it's almost four. He did not want to take his afternoon nap. And so I'm feeling like a little, a little run over, a little run down. Um, but I'm just going to keep on trekking through. <laughs> oh, I love watching him. He's so cute.
Hi guys. Oh, that feels so good. Um, I'm editing today's vlog. If you wonder what I look like today, this is currently it. Um, Hugo was napping, but I realized that I never finished the vlog yesterday. Yesterday was so rough. Oh my gosh. Hugo just was not feeling yesterday. And so by the end of the day, I was exhausted. I went to bed at like literally 8 p.m. Um, but yeah, I wanted to finish the vlog up. Today so far has been a little bit better. Well, see you guys tomorrow. That's today. You know what? You guys know. Oh, also I get to open up my advent calendar for today. Well, you'll have to tune in tomorrow to see which socks I get. <laughs> Riveting. I know. Um, okay guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!